in the West Coast, I was I was hesitating between Raglan and Taranaki, uh, but after a while, I kind of figured that Raglan already had its share of publicity and its share of coverage, and so I chose Taranaki for that. And plus, I I really like Taranaki. It's hard to ignore uh, Mount Taranaki. It's you pretty much hypnotized by this beautiful mountain which just is there the whole time and you cannot take your eyes off of it so this is just a very special thing I guess it feels uh, uh, very much rural there's a lot of farms around it's also dramatic in the sense that there's a lot of, of little valleys little creeks little river flowing out of the, of the volcano and which makes it uh, very special to drive through So my original idea for the West Coast was to portray the New Plymouth Surfriders Club as an entity because for me that club represents or um, includes a lot of the history of longboarding in New Zealand and surfing in New Zealand generally. It was not an easy decision to take to choose who I wanted for the characters for this, for this part. I finally chose Mark, he's a current president of the club and he's also a blues musician, and I thought that including a musician into the story would be a nice addition. I remember seeing him in, in uh, all the surf movies and thought that, you know, he was quite a standout in the local surf scene. I chose Jo because of the story she had behind her and coming back and trying to find her roots and um, also being quite active in, in uh, the community of Waitara. And also because at that time she was pregnant, and I thought that portraying a a Maori pregnant woman would be something that you don't have the chance to portray that often. We managed to, to spend time with her just before she gave birth, which was uh, extremely special. Both of them are not local; they're not born and bred there. Mark has been there for quite a long time. And Jo grew up in, in Muriwai, but she has got some family history in Waitara. So yeah, I am conscious that they're not locals, but I thought that it was quite fitting in the sense that the locals participated in, in, in lifting it up, but it's also people that came to live there and give back to the community of Taranaki, which, which also played quite a, a significant role. But by deciding this, I also decide to give respect to the locals by uh, including uh, Wayne Arthur as an introduction of the West Coast. Eventually, he's the one that finds the rooms of the club. And Wayne Arthur is a person that, that did a lot of good things for Taranaki, but also for New Zealand surfing.